announcement that was stunning. No one knew this was coming. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, wow. And he stood up in a box, which was very close to the theater uh, stage and uh, took a bow and he tried to sit down and the audience uh, screamed and hollered and applauded it. And he, he tried to sit down again and he waved them to begin. They wouldn't. And, and a third time he just be, pleaded with them, please sit down. And okay. And they did. Uh, and, and then uh, the show was quite long and everybody was so excited because now we were performing for the man of the hour, one of the heroes of the 20th century for uh, all of us. And um, the second act started and uh, Sammy Davis was on stage and I was backstage. And in fact, I had just found a seat for Maurice Chevalier. Uh, and he was sitting there waiting and I was waiting beside him. And Sammy was on stage and uh, the light from the stage was shining backstage. And about 15 feet from me, I looked over and I looked again and Reverend King was standing there alone. And he was just looking out onto the stage and I knew what was happening. He was leaving and he didn't want to make a fuss, but he came back to say goodbye to Sammy. And uh, as I watched him, I was stunned how small he was because it's Martin Luther King Jr. He's eight feet tall. And, and, and <laughs> yes. you, you, <laughs> you just can't imagine being in his presence. Uh, and I looked at him and, I, and my, my thought was, please go get the blessing, Martin. This is some opportunity for me. And I said, no, no. Uh, my other angel was saying, don't bother him. He's, he's been up all night and he's very tired and he has to go now and so and I said yeah but you've got to get the blessing you may never get this opportunity get the blessing for heaven's sake no no leave the man alone for god's sakes that conflict within me went on for maybe a minute and a half oh, it seemed like 10 minutes and then Sammy Davis ended his song and he came back and he went directly to Reverend King and they hugged each other and Sammy walked him to the uh, stage door exit and I never met Martin Luther King. I didn't have that, that chutzpah or that courage it takes to be vulnerable in the presence of someone that you adore, a hero. Mm -hmm.